Hey, Intro to 2D, this is Mrs. Jones. I just wanted to walk you through getting started with our David Hockney inspired joiner pictures. Now, just to remind you of what these look like, um, this is gonna be a very irregular image. You have a choice of using kind of this grid method like Hockney did or having an irregular edge. But you can see with joiner, Literally, we are joining together multiple photos from different angles um, and different proportions to make a composite image. So it's going to be a little bit abstract. It's not going to be totally realistic. But again, you can kind of have this irregular format or more of a gridded format. In Microsoft Word, you'll just open a new document and you can choose Insert Pictures. And I've just got a couple here. So I'm going to insert this picture. Now you can see just by dragging the corner down, I'm able to change the size. Okay, that's pretty easy. Or up here in the corner, you can change the size too. Okay, big or small. You can also rotate the, the image if you want to kind of make it off kilter. Okay, but I'm just going to leave it like that for now. Now this little icon here, layout options. Um, I'm going to say choose tight for now. You can see that little pop-up comes up, tight. And that will help us to be able to layer our images and not have um, too many formatting issues. That same thing is up here. It says wrap text, gives you the same options. So it says tight. Um, that really is going to come into play more so when we have multiple images. So I'm going to insert another picture. Let's see, I just took a bunch of kind of random pictures today to play around with this. Now the thing is, is we are going to want to have multiple pictures going on here and taking bits and pieces from them and layering together. I'm going to choose tight on this one. Now when it comes to actually uh, overlapping them, see this one is kind of going behind. If I wanted this image to be on top, I would right click and then I would say bring to front. Okay, now when I would go to layer it, it means that's my first image. Or if I wanted this one to be, I if I wanted it to go back, I would just right click and say send to back. Okay, so that's basically how that works. Now I'm going to maybe choose to crop this a little bit. So the crop button is up here. You also have a rotate button where you can flip your image if you wanted to. Okay, I'm just going to crop mine, bring it down, I'm going to get those glasses. Okay, I just push enter and see it's going behind, so I need to move that forward, bring to front. And you can see that I'm purposefully trying to kind of misalign my hairline there. Maybe I'll get that a little out of proportion there, but you can you can tell that I'm trying to be um, a little out of proportion, right? Now, if I really wanted to keep those two images, I have the back one selected, and I can also push Control Select this one, so they're both selected. That was Control Select. Now I'm going to right click, and you can push Group. Okay. That means these two pictures are now grouped as one shape and you don't have to uh, format them anymore. And I would suggest grouping um, just because you might get it one way and then it gets all crazy with formatting. So let's see, I'll do this one. So I've got kind of the side of my head. Let's see what I'm gonna do with this one. Gotta choose tight. I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit. Ultimately, we want to be able to print these out at um, a normal size paper, 8.5 by 11. I am going to send that one back. And you might not like the pairing. Like this one, I'm not sure if I like how this one looks. Maybe I'll crop it first. It's just going to be kind of playing around with shapes and figuring out what looks good, what looks weird, and how you want it. I think I'll bring that one forward actually. Bring to front. Okay, so had I not grouped these ones, I could still go back and say ungroup. Um, 
ungroup. So now I, I should have um, individuals here, but I'm just going to play, kind of play around with that image a little bit more. So um, very, very basic. This is Microsoft Word. At the end, I would say you would need to select, do control select on all of your images and then group them and then we could resize that picture but that's how you guys are going to play around with this for now i would say um probably five to seven pictures would be fine and you might just want to make copies of some of your pictures so i'm gonna go to some of my pictures here let's see where they are okay so if i want to make a copy of something um, say I don't want to edit my original, I can choose that and I can do a control C, control V, and that pastes it. Or you can do it the old fashioned way and do a copy and then a paste. I'm just right clicking. Okay, so you can copy and paste pictures to use multiples of the same thing. Okay, and here's another one I was working on earlier, but see how I have kind of the exaggerated proportions and you can see kind of a different outline um, an irregular edge that's kind of what we're going here for um, hope that helps you get started and we'll we'll be excited to see how these turn out